Unraveling Idioms, Understanding, Losing One's Head. Hello, and welcome to our journey through the fascinating world of English idioms. Today, we're diving into the phrase, losing one's head. It's a phrase you might hear in movies, books, or everyday conversations, and understanding it can add a whole new layer to your mastery of the English language. So, let's embark on this linguistic adventure together. The phrase, losing one's head, does not mean to physically lose your head from your body. Instead, it's a colorful way of saying that someone is losing their composure or becoming overly emotional in a situation where calmness is expected. When people lose their heads, they might make hasty decisions, act without thinking, or let their emotions control their actions. Understanding where an idiom comes from can often help us remember its meaning. The phrase, losing one's head, is believed to have originated hundreds of years ago. In historical times, not keeping calm in a crisis could lead to serious consequences, even as severe as losing one's life. Over time, the phrase took on a more figurative meaning, referring to losing one's mental composure instead of a literal head. To fully grasp how losing one's head is used, let's look at some examples. 1. During the meeting, John lost his head when the discussion turned into an argument. 2. It's important not to lose your head in an emergency. Staying calm can save lives. In these examples, losing one's head illustrates the importance of staying calm and rational, emphasizing how losing control can lead to negative outcomes. To use losing one's head correctly, remember, it's typically used in negative contexts or as advice to encourage someone to remain calm. It's versatile and can be used in formal and informal settings, though it might be more common in informal conversations. Understanding idioms like losing one's head not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into the colorful and expressive nature of the English language. We hope this video helps you feel more confident in using and understanding this phrase. Remember, in the journey of language learning, every idiom you master is a step forward. Keep learning and don't lose your head in the process. See you in the next video.